Okay, today I'm going to do a quick video about one of the vehicles I've got. So it isn't my Viper, it's not my Cobra, it's actually my electric moped. It's a, quite a cool looking thing, it's got a really big fat tyre on the back of it, but it's actually got a problem and I just thought I'd do a quick video on it to show you how I'm going to fix it. So normally in the bike, the battery goes in there so it goes in the floor so it's got quite good riding cap capabilities um because the center of gravity is quite low um it also well last time i went out i did about 30 miles on it brought it home went to go and put it on charge and it wouldn't actually charge now that's what the battery looks like so this is a, a ruder m1 and that's the battery um so it's it's a 60 60 volt battery uh um 200 no, oh, sorry, 20 amp hour hours. Um, it's a LiPo battery. So basically, well, I'll show you what the problem is. So what to do is you just take the screws out of here. If you're not capable, if you're not happy working with electrics, it's quite high power, this is, so don't do it, get somebody else to do it, but I'm really confident in working with it. So you just take the screws out, then you take off this panel. So that is the connect, sorry, that there is the connector that connects in the bike. This is actually what connects the connector to the battery. So I've actually taken the battery out of the casing. Um, if you wanted to take the battery out to do this, but you don't actually have to take it out. So that there is glued into here to cover up the end of the battery. So that all you would see are these two bits. Now that there is a fuse. I've had it before where I've blown the fuse um, and the bike stops working. So to take to, to, ch to change the fuse, just undo the cover. You can see it there. Um, just get a new fuse, put it back in, and the bike works. But this isn't the problem. So this, I think this is the problem here. This little connector is bad. Um, so the connector between there and there. Now, if I put the voltmeter on it, I'll show you what the problem is. So I've got a multimeter in there. Polarity is around the right way and just straight over to the voltmeter and at the moment so that's coming out the battery it's got 55.6 volts now let me plug in the connector and measure it actually on the prongs that go into the bike okay so i've got the two wires on the feed so it's the same way around so the red wire goes in so that one's a positive the other one's a negative now i've only got five volts so the problem is either that connector or this plug so my friend Kevin Talbot um, who's got a YouTube channel which I'll put a link in the description has sent me a lot better connector okay so that's the original connector and this is the connector that Kevin has sent me so this can take a lot more power look at the size of the, 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 the copper that's in it compared to the size that's in there so all you have to do is cut the wires and then re-solder them back in there the main thing you've got to do is make sure you put that bit over the wires because eventually it's finished, that bit slides up and pops on. So let's solder this all together and then see what difference it makes. It still might be this bit's wrong, so I'd have to try and get another one of them. Okay, so I've soldered the new connection onto the battery. Now I've put all the battery back in and hot glued it the, the protective cover back in. So that's all back. So if you was doing this yourself, this is how you would see it. So you'd see the two wires coming up into the fuse and with the old connector on it. So the new connector's on it there. I've made a new lead for this one, a lot bigger cables. Um, I didn't have any of this size, so we've actually gone up a size on cables. Um, the cable was black, so I've put a yellow one on so I know which one's the positive. So, so that one's the positive and that one's the negative. And then, this, so I plugged it all together, I measured the voltage out of this, and this is good. Measured the voltage onto that, and this is the bit that's actually faulty. Now, I've had a word with one of my friends, and he says, these aren't actually rated for 60 amps. He goes, these are rated at 10 amps, but that is what's on the bike. So I'm gonna put, I haven't got one of them exactly the same. I've got this one, so that's the same, and that's still rated at 10 amps. now. I think if I have to do this again, I'm going to get another connector and then put more connectors on the bike so all the connectors are all the same 
and they're rated a lot higher power. The main problem is all the bike is still it's got this size on it. So I'll try it for this one. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna change the connectors to a bigger connector. Okay, so I've got it all connected now. Now this thing, because it's not uh, a bulkhead fitting like the other one, I've basically, I've hot, it, 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 it was a really tight fit to get this in there anyway. And I've hot glued it all in from the back and it just sticks out a little bit of root out the front. It's still enough room so you can put the handle up on it and it doesn't get in the way of it. There's also enough room when it's in the bike that that's not gonna hit anything. But I think down the line, I will be putting a different connector on there because this is, it's, a, it's rated at 10 amps at 250 volts. So, but we're only putting um, about 60 to 67 through it. With this battery is fully charged at 67 volts. But now if I get the, put the prongs on here, let's, let's do that and then measure how much voltage we got coming through. We should be up at about 56 volts is what this battery is at. And then we can charge it at last. Okay, so we got the connectors on the terminals and there we go. That's what we was expecting. So we've gone from very, very low voltage at about, I can't remember what it was. I think it was about five volts, but now we're up to 55 volts and now the battery charger will work. Okay, let's get the charger lead. So as we're charging the battery up, so that goes in there. And there we go. So yeah, so what it was doing before, it was just staying on the green because it thinks that there's no voltage. So if I unplug this, it goes green straight away because it thinks there's no battery on the end of it. So now we plug it in, it sees the battery, now it's charging. All we got to do is wait for the light to go green and then we know this battery is fully charged. So it wasn't a new battery after all, which was I was hoping it wasn't gonna be because these are getting quite expensive. So yeah, so if you have a problem with your bike, um, it could be the fuse that's in here or it's either of the connectors. Now, bear in mind that if you're not confident to doing electrics, there is quite a bit of power in there. So just go careful or get somebody else to do it. Okay, so the battery is now back in the bike. This is what I was, I was saying. There's loads of room to have that longer connector in there because this bit goes all, all the way up there. So it goes in there really easily. Um, of course, now I've got the keys, put them in the ignition. Before, it wouldn't do anything. And there we go, back up to the voltage working again. So yeah, that's it fixed. So it wasn't the battery. If you have the problem, it could be just the connectors inside the battery pack. Um, I hope you like that quick video of what the problem I found with, with my Ruder was. Um, Remember to please like and subscribe to my channel because we don't just do this, we do monster trucks. That's what my main thing is, monster trucks. And of course, we always do some other stuff. At the moment, we're building a, a, a hot rod taxi. So you might want to check that out. But until next time, bye bye. Just to know what